99 is new balloon. So -de 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 this looks a little too nice. This looks a little too quaint and cozy and sparkly and My Little Pony like. I don't trust it. Top of the morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Set Guy, and welcome to Little Misfortune. It's made by Kill Monday Games, who are the developers behind Fran Bow. This is the new game that they're making, and this is a demo for what they're cooking up. I didn't know anything about this until people in the comments told me that it was a game that they were working on. And it looks weird. I mean, it looks Fran Bowish, like the art style and everything looks very similar to that. But the style of it is really different, and it's very like. It looks like a fake Barbie game. Put it that way. Again, it looks like a browser game that I would play, but that's also subverting my expectations. So now I'm very. Oh, this is much more in line with what I'm expecting. <laughs> Skulls and dead things. Okay. What the hell is happening? Greg from Night in the Woods sure let himself go. Whoa. Pine cone asleep. Okay. <laughs> Were those hanging skulls? They remind me of something that was from Frambo as well. I think there was hanging skulls somewhere in that game. Welcome to my game. Thank you. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Don't talk about Fight Club. Until the end, and you will be rewarded. Huh. You'll be rewarded with a free copy of the game. Wow, gee, thanks, developers. Ah, oh, this is cute. I like this art style. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. Okay. So far, so good. A little good. sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. The sad part is today is the day she will die. Can hear you, you know. Oh, this is great. You can? Mm hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? <laughs> Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <gasps> Nobody said nothing? You know. I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Oh, okay, she's precious! Oh, we're back in it. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, she's so cute. Um, what I was pointing out though is that there's a picture of the fox. The fox that's gonna come Look, kill us. I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really Benjamin. cute fox. I don't care much for foxes. How dare you, Mr. Voice? I have a family of foxes in my yard. I've been putting up pictures of them on like Twitter and Instagram. And they- There's like a whole family of them were born underneath the decking at my house. 
and now I'm- I love them too much to do anything about it, so every now and then I look out my window and they're just out playing in the yard. And I try not to disturb them. They're precious. I love them so much. They just go to bed? Oh. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh? Impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And Word. When I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> <laughs> this is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? You just said no one's allowed to read it. <laughs> um, okay. That's so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. <laughs> she even says she's cute. I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. Bunch of them. Hello, diary. At school, I drew, and at home, I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. Okay, I'm not gonna read that voice forever. Oh, yikes forever. Yikes forever and ever. Hello, diary. My dad lied to me again. I'm not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Sometimes, I don't know how to feel. Nobody is teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they teach us where feelings come from. But for reals, no fairy tales. Oh, this is so sad and real. <laughs> the puke of love, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Okay, you just say the same things over and over again. It is. Hello, diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? Are you vomiting out all of your your love? This is like a, a reaction picture where people do faces and then draw the hearts all around them. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other, and my heart felt warm, and like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away because my mommy shouted that dinner was ready. Oh, you and Benjamin are friends. This is my love and affection, and this is how much puke I have for it. Oh, Jesus. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. Hello, diary. My daddy hit mommy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit, hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. See, this is the thing. Is that kids get everything they learn from their environment. We're all byproducts of what our parents... Uh, imprinted upon us when we're kids. Even as adults, you might think that something's alright, but then you go to stuff like therapy and everything, and you start reworking all the issues that you have, and the problems that you've built up along the way, and all the habits that you've formed, and then you realize it really all is all determined from our parents. Good, bad, or indifferent. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mommy. I promise I will never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. Oh, who doesn't like sushi? Sushi's great. That's Hira, my Japanese friend. My He's Japanese friend. He's a ghost. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing, but I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. I would like him too. His name is Hiro, and he's a ghost. I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. What if she actually does see ghosts? And he's not actually real. Glitter. I love my glitter. I hate glitter. It's the worst abomination humanity has ever made. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? Oof! Big oofs on that one, Miss Fortune. I saw a TV- she's very smart for her age. I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa is real. But the glitter is amazing! It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with my grandma. It smells so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too. I ate two tomatoes, and then I was stuffed. 
Hello Diary, I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle and I looked straight in the sun. <laughs> and I started crying because it hurt my eyes. Okay, maybe she's not that smart for her age. My mommy said that one should not look directly at it. I bit in the leg. It was really warm. <laughs> Hello Diary. It was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. Is it because you peed in it? Hello Diary. How are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Such a baby. Cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Sounds like you have a bubble in your throat when you're talking. I found the picture of me when I was younger. It makes me want to gag talking like that. It's pressing my throat together. Time goes fast. This cake looks yummy. Halloween costume ideas. Little lady fox. Like Benjamin. Okay, we're done with that. This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Man, I wish I could have a voice like that narrator. He kind of sounds like the Stanley Parable guy. Stanley realized that he was in a video game. Like there. I need that soft, soothing, buttery, sultry voice. I love my coloring book. Oh. What do you want to do with the coloring Or what to do with the coloring book? Take coloring book with you. Leave coloring book for Bubsy. I'm going to take it with me. Take it with me if I get bored, okay? <laughs> okay? You're adorable. Alright, let's leave. Coloring book might come in handy when we face the demons of the world. Like... Like the devil or Kim Kardashian. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh it's yeah! the music that goes on forever. Boogie down, girl! Hell yeah! Live your best life! Move those joints! Ooh! Dance like no one's watching! <laughs> like glitter. Da 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 da! Throw glitter with F. <laughs> wow! Sunshine sparkles for everybody! Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They Steven. are trip fighting super evils. Well, no problem, because glitter will solve everything! I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. <laughs> That's what kids do to monsters. The monster shows up and you just go... I hate you, monster! Before right. you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Oh, Can't no. Can I take them both? No. You can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay. Oh, God. I choose... Unicorn or stone? Can I not bring Bubsy? I mean, he's the guardian of the secret place, but he also feels like he would kill things. The unicorn's pretty cool, and it goes along with my sparkles and my voice, but... I kind of partial to a stone. I feel like I could like throw that at somebody and do some real damage. I choose the stone that he threw at me once. Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. That sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like a 2014 Jacksepticeye video. I called everything like barrely, sharky, stony, <laughs> um, emotional, supporty. But this is horrible. Your dad threw the rock at you. Is that your blood that's on it? Ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Ah, <laughs> yes! I love hey, that! You. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? A little secret. Hey, Benjamin's outside the window. You there, on the other side of the screen. Remember how I told you you're going to die today? Let's keep that our little secret. 
All right, little Miss Fortune. What's your first name? This is Grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> So she doesn't wear a diaper too, she just wears a diaper now. Also, I love that Shut up! Happiness for everything! That's a that's a PMA mood right mommy there. Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Five days? Full shift to, to run. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, you could have grabbed it! It's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of <laughs> cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. I love that she just went <gasps> right into the ground. Mommy said she married Daddy because she was expecting me. Oof. She wanted to have an abortion. But it's illegal and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> yes. Illegal and against the law are the same hmm. thing. Maybe I could try to fix it. <gasps> fix the broken vase, leave it as it is. Uh, could I use my sparkles? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. <gasps> I'm gonna do it. Okay. How do I... Okay, I don't want that piece yet. Can I have this one? I can't rotate anything, can I? Okay, I don't know where the hell these pieces go. <laughs> you really done goofed this one, didn't you? Is that good? There? No. Aha! This goes there. That looks right. Right? And this goes down here. We're doing it! We're fixing it! I'm a legend. Ah, no, this goes there. Maybe, maybe not. You know, if you could just rotate the thing, that would help a lot. Maybe I'm not supposed to rotate it. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe it goes up here further. It really just doesn't feel like it fits anywhere. Um, do you go here? Yep. You go here. Um, I think you go here. Ah, okay. Ta da! Oh, wait, the flower. <laughs> All back to new. It's just gonna fall over now. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. This game is way too real. Mommy or daddy hits mommy. They got married because they were expecting me, and mommy couldn't have an abortion because it's illegal. And then mommy told me to smile even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica. She thought his gun was a toy. Oh, she God. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died. And she was so sad. <laughs> what is going on in this game? This is like My Little Pony, but Ugh, sad. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes in here. Mommy! Yeah, that's my mommy. She smokes she and drinks. She likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> Well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, you're not gonna say like, Hey, your first mission is to kill mommy. Throw glitter. Okay, I don't know what I'm throwing glitter on. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will daddy learn I like them alive? Okay, there, yeah, let's just close that. That's sad. Mommy, this smells really Bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. <laughs> Yikes forever, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be my new catchphrase. Hi, Mommy. 
Oh wait, can I can I glitter things? Make them better? Yeah! Okay, I can't do happiness at the fridge. The fridge doesn't deserve happiness, apparently. We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk, and Daddy actually said hi to me. Oh, misfortune! All I want to do is give you a hug! Daddy actually said hi to me last night, and Mommy wasn't too drunk. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. See, this is what happens! The kids take on the attitudes of the parents because they think it's normal. That's today. Okay. Out we go. I couldn't glitify anything else. Tell mommy you're leaving? Yes, be a good kid. I'm going out to play, mommy. She cares a lot. My mommy loves me. Good day, morning. It's afternoon. Misfortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, Mommy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Okay. Good afternoon, birds. Remember Good afternoon, Daniel everything. This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash, and we made eye contact. Ooh. He was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. <laughs> what? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. Not as silly as throwing glitter on everything. But then again, you are a kid. This bowl smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> This is so sad. Can I? I can't glorify any of this, can I? Oh, cat! This is where Daddy often sleeps. Daddy? Is he sleeping in there now? I'm just gonna try try and throw glitter on everything. Cat! Hello, kitty. Here, come, come, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, jeez. Dang it! Go. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna get. Maybe you should take the food with you. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Okay. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Uh huh. Okay, choices. There is no right or wrong. Only consequences. Okay, okay. Only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your I'm next ready. Is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left. Look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. She's wonderful. I love her. It's like okay choices. Uh-oh, 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 pentagram, demons! Demon moose! I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there, I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Me thinks little misfortune is seeing things. Wait. Bless you, road! Happiness to everything! Happiness to you, dead bird! Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. No. She thinks it's sleepy. It's dead, bro! Oh god, they're all dying. That's the end of it already! Oh man! <laughs> what is that face?
Jeez. Is my glitter actually going to be able to save things? <laughs> Jesus! What the feck was that all about? Okay! <laughs> cool! Jesus! That was great! I like that a lot. I wish there was more to it. I didn't know the demo was this short. Um, but the character already, I love. I love the interaction. And I... Was that her little butt? I like... Um, I like Fran Bo a lot. Yes, from the creators of Fran Bo. So, their, their knack for doing cool scenarios and setting up a weird story and showing weird freaky things like all the stuff that's being on screen right now this stuff's all delightful okay mom's dead um so i'm excited to see where this goes i don't really know what the gameplay is yet i don't really know if we can switch between worlds like we could in franbo that was hero my my ghost japanese friend and we don't know who benjamin is or anything like that yet but the visuals alone are enough to sell me on it and, like I said before, their their mystery and their intrigue goes very deep. So I'm excited to see how much further this goes. I'm glad there's a demo of it out so that we could play it and raise awareness for the game as well so more people will get interested in it. Because um, in that regard then, the game gets... Usually the game gets made then and then more people will buy it by the time it actually comes out. So it's like we get to advertise it a small bit, so by the time it actually comes out, then we're all excited about it. So, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see more of what they have to offer. But, God knows when it'll actually come out. I don't know if... I, again, I didn't know anything about it until people in the comments were telling me about it, so... There could be actual more details about it now that I'm gonna look up after this. I'm gonna go look at Kill Monday Games on Twitter. But for now, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. If you wanna play it for yourselves, it, it's up on Steam, it's up on Itch.io, it's free. Go get it for yourselves. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And bye bye Zoro. Whoopish! Whoopish! But thank you guys, I will see all you dudes! To the next video! I'm going to go have lunch now. Shut down! Happiness for everything! <laughs>